how'd you how'd you grow up as a kid by your, like were you kind of a loner or were you had a lot of friends or what was it like no i was a nerd i was a loner um i hung out with a lot of adults because like i'm an only child and my mom and dad always took me everywhere with them i started working in a bar when i was 11 Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I did. I started out like doing the dishes in the kitchen, and right. um, so like, I was always like either by myself or with adults. Right. Yeah. And do you you think that affected you in a way that I mean I I know, um, like uh my my wife grew up like her mom was like an eco warrior, so she grew up in tents and shit, okay. chain, the, chain the trees and shit like right. that, right? We called them granola crunchers. Right. And so, <laughs> but she was always around adults, you know? Yeah. And so her conversation, so when you, you know, when you grow around adults and then you go to elementary school and then you got goofy ass kids that are trying to put boogers on you, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm not for this, you know? Right. So you, you know, you, you, uh, yeah. you, you, like I looked at school as like a job. Like I just needed to get it. Okay. We, I've got until two fifteen, and then I can clock out. You know? right, <laughs> yeah. right, 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 right. No, for sure. And it definitely affected my um, relationships, the way I see relationships. I, you know, obviously besides my parents own relationship, but also like being in a bar surrounded with people that probably have bad relationships in general. Right. Like, right. It's all, like, I, ne I knew that I didn't know how to have a proper relationship, but I also was like aware enough to just be like, maybe I shouldn't. Like I got, I was married for like 11 years okay, and that didn't really work out. It was like my fault generally. And uh, so like, I was like- Generally you know, your like, fault, how? Yeah, like I just wasn't a great wife to be honest with you. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I'm just not like always available, <laughs> and I know that sounds terrible, but like plus we also. No, I mean, it's her. honest. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's 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 bad that you you in you know in your youth you make a decision to put you you know because you you know I don't think people understand that it's you know even friendship is a contract. You know, yeah, there's, sure. there's parameters to it and there's boundaries and there's what you want from it and what you're willing to give from it. And that's the same thing is true in relationships. So but if you if you you know, when you're youthful, a lot of times you sign up for deals that you don't really you know, I mean, how often right, we, your mouth rice checks, your ass can't catch yeah. the other way around. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. that goes. <laughs> and so people are caught up in your inability to make better decisions. Yeah. Um. But I mean, I think if you understand where you're at and what you're looking for and there's, a, you know, the the end of that a lot of times is lonely, too, you know, the on the tail end of that. Yeah. You know, that's definitely something that I had to kind of like come to terms with at one point in my life. <laughs> like I was like, wow, like, what am I doing? Like, what are my goals here? Like what like in, in my personal life? Like, what are my relationship goals? What will I accept in my life? What do I want in my life? And um, after being married for 11 years and I had a boyfriend for one year, mm. I was like, you know, like, I'm not really pressed about any of this stuff. Like, mm. actually, like, if I could just have some nice friends that I can have nice evenings with and, like, I really, as selfish as this sounds, I kind of only want to be there for the good times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I you know? I mean, like, I, I be, get that. I get that. Yeah. It's funny because I know, I, I remember I dated a girl like that and, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, but what what made it her life easy was that she lived with her parents like yeah. way until later and, and up until 50. And then what happens is the parents got old and then she ended up having to take care of the parents because yeah. she was the only one who was there. But I mean, there's definitely I mean, the you know, I mean, I, I, I respect the fact that you understand what it is you want. I wonder if you have thought about what that looks like on the back end. Um, 70 years old. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. Of course. And I'm probably going to be alone. Like, yeah. but I have to be like completely okay with that. And right. I know you've, yeah. you've dealt with that in your head that you totally, understand. But I, it is something that I definitely had to deal with and be yeah. like, Hmm, like, yeah. I have I have a couple of female friends that are also in a similar situation. We always mm. joke about how we'll get a house together and just right, like, right. 
bitch at each other and stuff. So it's like but, Golden uh, Girls, but ex porn right, stars. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Exactly. <laughs> Golden Shower Girls. Oh my Yay. God. Fucking funny. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, if I'm alone, that's okay. Like, I like my own company and, you know, I'm okay with it. Like, and if I'm not alone, that's fine too. Like, it's just that um, I. If it worked, if I worked out with somebody where they fit into my flow, I'm 43. I already have like a life flow and mm. stuff, you know, like All right. it, it would just have to work out. But if it doesn't, it's fine, too. I'm like, yeah. OK, with it. I got a lot of arts and crafts I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> I got some Lego sets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. As long as there's some the to drive you to the doctor. Sisters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just I, th- I think it's dope that, you you know, when you understand what it is, you you, you know, you know, that, that you understand that there's a, because everybody wants everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody want to die first. You know what so, I mean? Being what you just said. Also, it's like, do you really want to just be in a relationship because you have fear of dying alone? Yeah, absolutely. Oh! I, yeah, no. But, like, but I, think I can't, but th- but I think can't of, do that. Like, I can't right, just well, be like, well, I'm just going to be nice to you because when I'm 72, I'm going to need you to push my wheelchair to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, 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 you know, that's not yeah. like I haven't seen that. No, you know, it, it happens it, all the time. All the time. I mean, people sign up for it or they don't. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.